Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. So today is another manga haul. I hope you guys are enjoying all the manga hauls that's been coming out lately. But yeah, I definitely picked up a lot of manga this past few months. Basically, December, I was meant to be on a buying ban. And guess what happened? That ban did not happen. I actually bought more manga than I usually do. And I think it's because like, once you put a ban, like you stop, you once you start restricting yourself, it's like anything in life, like even with diets, once you start restricting yourself, it's like, it's hard to hold back. You just do more than you normally do. I picked up so much manga during the month of December. I am so guilty. Now I'm gonna stop talking about putting myself on a buying ban as it's just not gonna happen. Like I feel like once you put a ban and restrict yourself, you're just gonna overindulge. It's so hard to keep yourself like, be like, yes, I'm gonna be good and then not buy manga. And then I see these amazing deals and I'm like, Okay, time to buy manga. So yeah, so I got two parcels with me from Traveling Man today. One I picked up during Black Friday. So all of this inside is 10% off. Then I was very naughty. So well, I went on Facebook and I'm on like one of the like anime or manga like selling pages and that stuff. And like someone said that Neon Vangeli... I'll, 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 let, I'll, let, I'll let you guys fill me in with the you know how to say the title but the evangelion evangelion basically that restocked and i was like right time to pick up a series that i have no idea what it's about i didn't grow up watching the Evan see what i mean you can tell i didn't grow up with that series um i picked it up because i was like might as well just give it a read and see if it's aged well and if it's a series that is actually really good and yeah like i thought might as well put myself a challenge and spend all my money on a series that i don't know about but yeah so that's why this little parcel is so heavy because i got that series so i'm gonna start off with the big parcel but yeah as always before we get onto this video please give this video a like comment subscribe you need drill and click on the bell and feel free to use my filler links down below for amazon bright stuff and black wells and also for bin planet if you want to help support the channel and its future giveaways if you're buying like any manga books or comics i want to like help support the channel the links are down below and yeah there's a giveaway coming soon i feel like this past few days i've been filming hauls i've been saying like there's a giveaway coming soon there's a giveaway coming soon trust me there's a giveaway coming soon in the new year so hopefully you guys are excited and that stuff i'm putting things together already and yeah let's get started right before i started filming i couldn't find my box cutter so we're back to with oh I nearly stabbed myself that was like um but yeah i'm back with the kitchen scissors right here basically traveling man is located in the north so caitlin is very lucky as she has a few near her uh, so yeah there's one in manchester as well because we went there last time with the dudettes if you haven't checked out the dudettes video already all the links are down below and also our discord if you haven't joined yeah we're a fun bunch if you don't know but um what's gonna say so yeah traveling man is basically a board game slash comic store and they do have a bit of manga but basically during the pandemic their website really blowed it up for me because of course couldn't go in store to buy manga so i basically shopped from them online for the longest time but yeah basically black friday they had 10 percent off and also christmas um they had a christmas sale for 10% off as well which um I have another parcel from traveling man that's coming very soon I think it's gonna ship to me like in the upcoming days so I have another traveling man haul for you guys in the near future but anyway let's start off with this parcel first so let's get on with the unboxing so I haven't unboxed manga in a very long time normally I go in store now so going back to picking up online it's quite nice to unbox and like have a review of what i picked up straight oh that was a belt straight down the middle what i miss about traveling man parcels is the packing peanuts they used to have so many packing peanuts with um their parcels and oh they do they do they do just like i mentioned it but they have a lot less now but i used to love having these because i hoarded them and i use them for my future parcels and that stuff but anyway first series i see I am so excited. So I see so many volumes of it. How many did I pick up? So I picked up one, 
okay one volume this oh i picked up three volumes okay so i picked up three volumes of tokyo revengers i have no idea what the series about i gave in with the hype because i saw so many people talk about it and during like one of the comic cons like people were like cosplaying it and like i'm i'm excited it's a new series that like it's quite expensive i think each volume costs like retail prices i think 16 to 18 pounds but i picked this up for i think just 12 pounds or 11 pounds on traveling man which bargain plus 10 percent off so i'm so excited to have picked the series up because i wasn't willing to pay so much for it i wasn't even willing to pay like 13 or 15 pounds for it imagine i pay 13 pounds and i'm here saying i'm not willing and i'd actually pay for that where's my phone where is my phone yeah where is my phone sorry i'm just messaging my best friend as she's visiting my hometown so yeah very very exciting so i'm gonna pick up later but what's i doing shop that's it it says i picked up for 12 pound 99 okay at least it's under 13 pounds by a pence but yeah i picked it up for 12 pound 99 i guess i thought i picked it up for cheaper but anyway picked up volume one and two and then three and four really love the covers i like the quality as well oh god <laughs> you can tell that was hefty and then volume five and six so yeah the first three volumes i'm not too sure if this series is an ongoing series if i'm honest i can't even tell you what this series is about other than that it's so well heated in the community everyone loves it i think people aren't a fan of the anime like some said like the manga is way better so i'm gonna give it a read and see but um yeah Ooh. does it feel a bit different hmm yeah, it does feel a bit different. My volume one feels a bit different compared to the other two volumes, but I feel like this cardboard box is distracting. Let me just move things around. So, um, I'm going to show you guys some of the pages. It's going to be a reaction as well with me because I have no idea what the art style is like. I really picked it up on a whim because everyone loves it and I saw, like, it's a pretty decent deal. If I don't pick it up now, I don't think I'll ever pick it up in the near future as it's such expensive volume but um yeah the art style i wouldn't say it's like amazing but it's decent it looks like a bunch of delinquents like in high school so let's go with the blurb quickly so collision course with the past watching the news hanagaki takemichi learns his junior high girlfriend tachibana hinata has died oh wow a sudden shove sends him 12 years into the past to face the tokyo manji gang the once made his life hell, which is also responsible for Hinata's death in the present. To save Hinata and to change the future, Takemichi must rise to the top of Kanto's most sinister delinquent gang, but things aren't so simple when he befriends the gang's leader, Mikey. What turned Mikey from a petulant child to leader of the most infamous gang in Tokyo? That is so interesting. Okay, I am hooked by the plot. The fact that he's going back in time to save his girlfriend from dying that's crazy and knowing about the gangs oh i love delinquent stuff if you watched goku zen from um ages ago i think it came out in early 2000s basically it's a japanese drama goku zen is oh so so good i used to be addicted to watching that like especially when i used to be like so depressed i used to watch so many japanese dramas like goku zen literally got me through depression like it was so fun to watch but anyway that the plot reminded me of that because of delinquents not because like someone going in the past basically goku zen is about i think it even has a manga i think it i think it originated from a manga then it got a live japanese adaptation there's a sensei who is actually from a yakuza family and she goes into like a delinquent school and teaches these delinquents and they become good guys and oh it's so good <laughs> anyway next series i picked up i picked this up because i saw caitlin pick this up in her um manga like list basically with the dudettes a lot of the times when we buy manga like online or something we always show our orders and a lot of the time i will go through like either emma's or caitlin's orders and i'm like Oh, I didn't see that let me pick that up next time and that's what I basically do with such bad influences but I picked up drip drip I believe this is a one shot and that yeah I have no idea the back is kind of disturbing like the <laughs> mm, to be honest not even the back the front I I was kind of a bit um turned off from just the look of it but I'm intrigued the thing is like when a cover looks so like bizarre 
and it makes me think like what is this about and it's called drip drip like why not pick it up so it is plastic wrapped so um i'll quickly read the blurb it's so interesting what the heck a one-shot graphic novel starring very human characters from the unique imagination of paru itagaki creators of b-stars that's actually a series that i haven't tried it's not a series that i'm intrigued either i know everyone loves it i know even the animated man loves like b-stars but personally it's not a series that i would like to collect for some reason i don't know maybe it's because it's just animals that talk no that that doesn't make sense I read like a man's cat and just forget what I said. But anyway, whenever Mako Higari comes in contact with something she perceives as dirty, she gets a massive nosebleed. Okay, I feel you on that. Germs, I hate germs. How can she find a loving partner and commit to a meaningful, intimate relationship when just touching another person makes her bleed out? Damn, girl. Especially when most of the men she meets are sleazy creeps. Her first challenge might be learning to love herself. Plus, a short story staring Santa Claus as we've never seen him before. Okay, I am excited for this one shot. It sounds very up my alley from just the plot. It's very interesting. Like, from a ger Actually, I'm not really a germaphobe. I have other friends that are, like, proper germaphobe. Like, hand sanitizer everywhere, wet wipes everywhere. For me, it's more like I just don't like... I just don't like it if that makes sense but i'm not a very clean person at the same time like of course i wash myself like every day or maybe even twice a day but when it comes to hygiene certain stuff i'm like oh i'm like Ugh. like i don't like sharing things personally but then uni got to me and then people started sharing things that's how i got you know mm -mm. and god forbid don't want that again hope that thing goes away and the whole world gets a bit better because your gal wants to travel i want to travel next year i want to go asia and that stuff but anyway yeah trip trip sounds very interesting i'm not sure how the art style is gonna be shall, shall we just unwrap it okay because i'm really curious how the manga panels are gonna look oh god okay so it is a matte volume oh it feels quite nice it's published by viz okay oh even the first page quite um oh damn she is definitely struggling there some germs must have got to her okay I like the art style. It looks very like witty in a way, but um, yeah, that is drip drip. Oh, okay. Oh, I can see why it's plastic wrapped because it is um a mature read. This was printed in Canada. Okay, next series I picked up is what did I pick up? So <laughs> I picked up Daughter of the Emperor Volume One. So this is a manhwa. So if you have seen in my previous shoujo and Jose manga haul, which I show you guys all the manga that I picked up when I was up in Leeds and that. But um, yeah, basically I picked up volume two on a whim in Forbidden Planet Manchester as I needed a £15.99 lot. And I picked up volume two of the series and um, I had no idea what this is about. Caitlin said this series was all right it wasn't like amazing and even when she said all right i still picked it up which am i dumb am i dumb anyway i absolutely love the cover of this like it's just look at the detail it's gorgeous but anyway i have to update you guys if the plot is actually any good but just having this on the shelves is very aesthetically pleasing to look at but um yeah not sure not sure Tell me down below in the comments if you like this or not. But yeah, this was definitely, I picked up on a whim. I feel like you'll notice it in this haul that a lot of series I picked up on a whim. And then the next series I picked up is um, The King's Beast, Volume 8. Another series that I keep on saying that I'll read and update you guys, which I haven't had the time to update or read. So with this one, I'm so sorry. I have to keep you guys waiting as I am have no idea i only read two volumes of the series when i first picked it up and um i liked it then after i started comparing with other series i had in my collection like apothecary diaries i was like actually the series a bit like mm, you know it's not amazing but i do like the art style but um yeah we'll see how this one goes i have to do a binge read like like i mentioned in lots of my videos if you want me to unpup like not unpup bump up my tbr list so that i can include any of the series that you guys want me to read soon i'll include it in my next wrap up but um next series i picked up is bl metamorphosis so this is volume two so this is a series that i've actually always wanted to pick up but i always only see volume two and five in store like volume one three and four 
I never see it. And I thought, may as well start picking it up in case like I can't pick up later in the future. But um, this is a series, I believe it's wholesome, like slice of life. It's where um, two people where an elderly lady and a young woman basically bond over BL manga. So yeah, this is what the art style looks like. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get volume one very soon, but, um, I like how it's all lines and, like, neat. I love it when manga is like that sometimes, where it's just plain. But, um, yeah, that is volume two. So the next series I picked up is Kubo Won't Let Me Be Invisible. This is such a cute series. So this series is a recent series that I absolutely enjoy. It's such a nice, light-hearted read. It's very cutesy, and, um, it's from Shonen Jump, so... Very easy to pick up and also you can read it on the Shonen Jump app. But um, yeah, this one I feel like if you're not into like Shonen series, like I think it's still a nice one to pick up if you're into like romances and shoujo. It's just very cutesy. Like I, I really like the dynamic between the characters. I'm just going to show you some pages so you can see the art style. But yeah, I really love Kubo. Like she's so adorable and um... Yeah, another series that I love that I picked up. This, I believe, is the most up-to-date volume. Next series I picked up is... Okay, so I picked this series up as... Um, I think I picked, I needed a free for two during my trip in Leeds. And I picked up the first volume of the series. Ever since I started reading manga and collecting manga, I've never really been intrigued about this series until now. I know lately a lot of people have been talking about this series a lot more often. So... I'm willing to give it a try so i picked up volume two i'm gonna see i'm gonna read volume one and two and give my like overall opinion and see if i want to continue collecting it if i don't i guess i will unhaul if not i'll hoard the manga like always as i like hoarding manga which is not ideal but um yeah this is snow white with the red hair can't tell you much about it i believe there's an anime and one of my best friends absolutely love the anime of this series so um yeah do check it out um if you're not into reading manga and you're just watching this video for some reason anyway next series i picked up is kaiju volume 8 volume 8 <laughs> volume 4 so this is kaiju 8 volume 4 that's what i was gonna say so i actually picked this up in store physically um and i didn't realize i picked this up on traveling man already this is the problem like when you have such a large collection it like it's sometimes it's hard to keep up to date especially if you do online orders and then you go on store and also if you do pre-orders sometimes it gets a bit mixed up like before when i was started off collecting manga when i started this channel i always knew on top of my head like what series i have in my collection nowadays it's because i pick up so many random volumes now it's like it's so hard to keep up what actual volumes i have so my spreadsheet is literally my go-to but um yeah i need to do an updated spreadsheet video i've been promising that and i haven't been delivering i'm so sorry but um yeah kaiju a another great series that i've been enjoying recently that's published by viz so um yeah i'll talk to you guys more about it when i do like a review video but um yeah that's volume four next series i see a lot of brown um i picked up a few volumes of it so let's see one two three oh four let's hope i didn't pick up any duplicates in store so oh no one looks a bit chipped okay so basically i picked up four volumes of banana fish i picked up volume 4 12 15 and 11 which you can see it's actually kind of nice you know um but yeah this series i've been wanting to collect um for a while before i stopped wanting to collect it because it was so hard to find i didn't even know there was a reprint but um yeah guess it's reprinting and yes this series is a shoujo yes 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 um they also do have an anime series i'm not sure if you can still watch it on amazon but um i did start the anime like a few years back i think two years ago when i started the channel and then i stopped watching it because it got to a point that i was like you know, it's, I think it's best to read the manga. Now I actually have the books physically in my hands now and collecting it. I'm really excited to start the anime again once I finish this whole series. I feel like when it comes to anime now, I prefer reading it before watching it because I feel like sometimes when I watch it, it kind of ruins the fun of reading the series. But that's just my opinion. But um, last series I got from this parcel is You in the Dawn. Why does this volume feel so weird? Is it because I've, hmm, I don't know. Something feels a bit off about this, but 
I picked up um, volume 11 of Yon in the Dorm. This series has been reprinting recently, so I have been seeing like a lot more earlier volumes out in stores. So that's a good sign for me, so I can fill in the gaps. I really can't wait for me to fill in all the gaps and be up to date and then just do a whole binge read and update you guys whether it's worth it or not. But for me, like, Union Dawn is a series that's a staple in my collection. Unfortunately, I can't tell you like the full gist of the series as I haven't been reading a lot and also I haven't been up to date. I haven't even read my volume one yet since I picked up and I regret picking that up for like 12 pounds now or 13 pounds like um, a year or so ago. Yeah, as there's so many reprints now, but um, yeah, I'm really excited to actually fill in the gaps, which um, yeah, it's been long awaited, you know, but um, yeah, so at the end of the parcel, I have some packing peanuts, which is really nice. So this should be predominantly just neon, Genesis Evangelion Yeah, butchering right there. I know I'm not a true fan because I ain't a true fan because I have not read the series or watched it So no idea, but um neon Genesis or some people or ne ne Evangel Evangelion Damn it. How do you say it? I picked this series up because someone on Facebook said that it restocked and this is the three in one edition I believe so I picked up all of the volume. So this is volume one two three and then next, four, five, six. Oh, there's some packing peanuts here. Okay, I wonder why my other traveling man parcel, like previously, they had no packing peanuts at all. So, volume seven, eight, nine. Probably they ran out. They really packed this very tightly. Um, then volume 13, 14, N. So there should be one, two, three, four, five. So there's five volumes of the three and one. The fifth volume is only two and one and this is a completed series but i love the quality i didn't even know the quality was so nice right let me just show you all the covers so this is what volume one looks like the paper oh it's so nice it's not as thick as i like it to be if it was thicker like the other square enix um paper that'd be quite nice but the paper is so nice this is definitely worth the price for sure just quality wise I wish Alice in the Borderland was kind of like this type of quality, in my opinion. I think it would have been nicer. You guys might disagree, actually, because I know some of you guys like it being matte. But um, this is what the art style looks like. I believe this is a sci-fi series. Imagine it's not even sci-fi. I'm chatting out my ass. But um, yeah, this is Neon Genesis Evangelion. Evangelion, let's go! I think that's how you say it. But anyway, volume two, um, I believe. This is what it looks like. Um, this is published by Viz, so you can get it free for two in like all the Forbidden Planets, which I didn't even know that was published by Viz. So this one, I could have actually saved my money and waited for the Christmas sale and picked it up for a cheaper price with 10% off, or I could have just picked it up in store for even cheaper, I think. But um, yeah, this is the third volume and um fourth volume and the fifth so i'm gonna have to update you guys how i get along with this series this i think is gonna be a whole video in itself where basically i'm trying to do in the new years where i just try a new series and give you guys my honest opinion as i know a lot of you guys like me spilling the tea on certain series like whether i like it or not or whether it's worth the money you know which um yeah, inflation nowadays with manga, poof, we have to be careful, innit? Unless you're rich, rich, which I ain't. Um, it takes a lot of uh, budgeting to get to this point um, and savings. So the next... Oh, no. I hate that, I hate that, no. Basically, I think it's because these volumes are so heavy and this was like right at the bottom or top. It's green ground! It's crankled. To be honest, I'm not too fussed, but it is sad when you pay for manga and you get something like this, you know? But it's not even that bad. Anyway, I picked up Asadora Volume 6. Very excited to read this volume specifically as Volume 5 just hit off with me. Like, with the whole series, Volume 5 was one of my favourite volumes. So, having Volume 6 in my hands, I am excited to read. This is a Naoki Urasawa series. I do not own any other series by him, unfortunately. I do wish to pick up 20th Century Boys very soon, hopefully. If not, I do want to pick up um, Monster as well, but we'll see. But 
this is what the art style looks like this is one of my favorite series that i read in 2022 did i start this series in 2021 as well maybe 2021 as well but um yeah absolutely love this series and yeah can't wait for more this series is like sci-fi adventure and like set back in the day you know so bit of a historic period but um yeah fun series to read but um yeah that is all the manga i've picked up there is so much and the fact that i have other parcels the, th the thing is yeah actually you guys are sitting on top of my forbidden planet parcel and um i still need to unbox that i was planning to film the video today but i have absolutely no time since my best friend's coming over so um we'll have to figure something out um to find time to film but um i was gonna say so yeah like i have a lot of manga to unbox still and there's still more manga on the way which i don't know what to do because i still have to do the organization video and i also need to like sort out this whole collection which i'm not too sure hopefully i don't have to unhaul a lot of series but i'm assuming i have to and i am a hoarder and um yeah it's gonna be a pain but anyway next week there will be a manga haul or like a review video if not or like a vlog video i hope you guys are enjoying the channel by the way and if you're new here subscribe but yeah i'm really excited for the new year by the time you're watching this it's already 2023 like we literally have like a few days left of 2022 right here but um yeah hope you guys have a blessed monday a blessed week keep on staying healthy and yeah hope you guys are enjoying your manga collecting journey oh also fun question that i just thought of what series would you like to be published in english like what manga series that's currently completed or ongoing in japanese that hasn't been published in english i would love to know what series you like down below but um, yeah, that is it from me. I hope you guys have a blessed week, blessed day, like I always say. And I'll see you next week. Bye!